All right, let's find out how we did in terms of the draft, shall we? The home run derby, by the way. Machado and Stanton leading the way in terms of home runs. That's cool. Obviously, we'll look at the All-Star game in a little bit. A.J. Minter dealt to the Braves for a bunch of prospects. All right, and there we go. First day to sign picks. All-Star voting, by the way, Sandy Alcantara. I agree. Who is our All-Star? It has to be Kutch. It has to be, right? Dealt back to the Braves. Well, hey, there you go. It has to be... Who the fuck is Hunter Goodman? James Pettit. <laughs> James Petit. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, James. With your one home run, 10 RBIs, and 554 OPS. By the way, how absurd is it that a 46 overall with 30 for hitting stats can have a freaking 230 batting average? They got to fix that. They got to fix that. But then again, I don't think anyone tries to break this game like I do. Amazing. All right. Draft pick wise. A lot of relievers this year. We start off with Ken Watts. He wants 6.1 million. The slot value is down. I actually can't drop that slot value. We'll give him the lowest offer that I can, and Ken Watts has signed with us. What about Austin Fielder? We'll drop down the proper slot value. He declines. Chris Martins. Can't sign you to do a deal yet. Darren McCauley. Darren McCauley says no. Uh, let's get Martins out of there for the moment. At Thomas Gaucho, who I can't send a deal to either. What about James Elliott? James Elliott said no. Whoops. What about Marco Calderon? Oh boy. Yeah, you know, we're gonna uh we're gonna have our work cut out for us a little bit in terms of signing some of these guys. Sim forward a couple days. Certainly won't be as quick and easy as last year. All right. Uh, we can go for Gaucho. He declines. Trying to save a little bit of money here and there if we can. Back over to Fielder. Still says no. Chris Martins can't send a deal to Darren McCauley. Martins, I don't know if I'm going to really be able to send a deal to him at all. He's got to be our top focus. I screwed that up. Uh, McCauley also says no. So our lack of willing to spend money right now and trying to play it safe. Randy Arazarena has been dealt to the Braves. Man, the Rays are just dismantling their roster. Twins offered us a trade, but no can do. All right, Austin Fielder. Let's try this again. There we go. Austin Fielder has signed. Uh, Darren McCauley. We'll go off of slot value. McCauley signs. Well, now that we're going off of slot value, it's working out a little bit better. James Elliott. Signs, Thomas Gaucho. We're going to have to build up interest for once I just send him that deal. And Thomas Gaucho signs. So we got $2.7 million to sign these two. We should be okay as long as we can build up that interest in time. We should be okay at signing all of our dudes. Did you end up looking up our rental? I did not. Thank you for reminding me. Let's do that right now. Where did Brian Reynolds go? To Oakland. Poor bastard. Poor bastard. Uh, Brian Hayes is a free agent currently. Nobody signed him. And O'Neill Cruz 
Went to the Cardinals. Sorry, Pirates fans. All right. George Springer gets dealt. Man, Atlanta is wheeling and dealing. Jesus. All right. Chris Martins. I still literally can't send you an offer, even though you're at 52% interest. Marco Calderon says no. We need to keep working on it. Got to keep working on it. Got a couple of days to do it. Martins says no. Calderon says yes. So it's just our second round pick, Chris Martins, who is holding out on us. But now we can send him a max offer and there we go. We took it. There we go. There we go. So that is every single one of our draft picks signed as Bo Bichette has been dealt. Atlanta is going nuts. Bo Bichette dealt for Vaughn Grissom and Bo Phillip. Damn. You're going nuts. All right, chat. Here we go. This is the time. This is the time. How good did we do? Did we get it right with this closer in round one, seventh overall? Yes, we did. We don't know if there would have been somebody better, but man, we can't complain. Ken Watts, 68 overall, 21 years old, A potential. Not bad. Two years in a row, we did very well with our first pick. Very, very well. He's got some heat. He's got some movement. He's obviously got some work to do, but not bad at all. Now, the big question is the balance round. We took the closer who was... That's what's up. Well done. Uh, we took the closer who was projected to be the number one pick in baseball in the draft. Our scout said, you know what? No, he's not that good. But he was available, and his attributes looked amazing. Let's see him. He's not bad. He's really not. If we had taken him seventh overall, we'd be crying. Getting that guy in the second round, that's not terrible. He's not Watts, but that's okay. 71 overall at 19, C potential. I mean, he could be the setup man for Watts for the next decade plus. And also, 6'5". Is he good? 6'5". How hard can he throw? 6'5". <laughs> so I'm happy with that, man. That's, that's a pretty good one-two punch for the bullpen right there, and that's not even our last option. Okay, so Chris Martins hurts a little bit more. Martins hurts just a little bit more. Look at the velocity. That he's not going to be bad. 18C and a 56, he will be a future reliever for us. It might take him 5, 10 years. But that right there is the future of the bullpen with Ken Watts leading the way. We took catcher Darren McCauley, who is fine. Like, he's obviously not going to be our all-star catcher. But he's somebody in the mix. So I don't hate it. It's fine for a later pick. Okay, Thomas Gaucho will probably never make it. <laughs> uh, that's 87 steel with 68 speed. Thomas Gaucho will probably never make it. You guys really wanted him, though, and I didn't really have a better option. I got my guy, which is James Elliott, who is a B, but he's a 48 overall at 22 years old. So, uh and then the shortstop, Marco Calderon, is fine. So honestly, not an amazing draft, obviously. I wouldn't call it an abysmal draft either because I have a hard time believing that the AI is going to be amazing. As we scroll through these teams, I have a really hard time believing that this was a great draft that we just fucked up on. Could be wrong. 
St. Louis took Thomas Beard, who we could have taken seventh overall. We said no, and we made the right choice. Roscoe Hammond would have been a good pick, though. Arizona took Alicio. Glad we didn't take him. They got a very good option. Again, we wanted Juan Rodriguez in the second round. He went about three to four picks before we could take him. And then Connie Griffin was awesome. So some good picks here for the Cardinals. Armando Gill included, or not the Cardinals, excuse me, the Diamondbacks. Uh, the Rockies <laughs> took Luis Morales first overall. He's fine. He's not first overall worthy. They made up for it getting Kenny Ames with their next pick, who was fantastic, and Ricky Walters as well. Even for a C potential, Haney's all right. Pena's a bit of a lower overall, and Flores is a real project player. That's a pretty good draft for the Rockies, but yeah, Morales first overall. He's not a bad pick, but when you say first overall, finally, yeah, the Rockies have a decent draft. The Dodgers, Steve Madison, good pick. Uh, Santiago, good pick. Corona's fine. Fine. Oh my god. Oh, the Padres. Oh, the Padres. Moving on. San Francisco, at least Billy Kemp has a good starting overall, but yeah, that potential's rough. Corey's a big-time project, but okay. Like the badge of Badres. Uh, Baltimore. Oof. Castellano's fine for a C. So was Lachero. They did take David Bravo. Turns out Bravo would have been a good player to pick, but we had already taken a catcher. We took the wrong one. We should have taken David Bravo. I just didn't want to take two catchers in a row. Is what it is. Red Sox. Dwayne Stanley wouldn't have been too bad for us. They also got Cortez, who was fine, but a, a big-time project. Yankees took Aparicio. He's okay. Overall's a bit low. Uh, Carlton Dom. He's projects. Projects. Tampa. Juan Burgos. Solid. And that was it for them. Yikes. Blue Jays. I mean, for a C potential, Mendoza's not bad. Same for Armas, but no super high-end talents. But they did get three C potential guys, but good starting overalls. White Sox, did you do it? I certainly don't think we should have taken him seventh overall. He's not bad, though. I'm happier with the closer. Happier with the closer. Cleveland. Uh, the song says Cleveland rocks, but that's not what this draft would indicate. Really good C potential guy in Gallegos, but yikes. Detroit, Enrique Rivera, very solid. They took him early, too, didn't they? McGowan's good for a C potential. Zimmerman's a project. That did the D potential, Johnny Holland. Kansas City. Fuck. He went one pick after we took the closer, right? Our scouts were right. They said he was the second best player in the drafts. His attributes looked like crap. But he has 1963 overall A potential. He's a glorified Michael Taylor. You better hope so. Would we have been... Ha he went fourth? Oh, okay. I thought he went eighth for some reason. Okay, so he wasn't even available to us then. All right, well, that's fine then. At least it wasn't the decision that I made. Okay, if he went before our pick, then I don't feel so bad. Fair enough. I, I thought he went afterwards, so that's my bad. Okay, well, I'm, I'm sitting here feeling guilty for no reason. Fair enough. Minnesota. It's a good thing you signed Shohei Otani because you didn't get any high-end talent. Frederick is a super low overall. Drew Cox isn't bad for a C potential. Houston took Leggett, who is fine. He's fine. Didn't get anything else, really. I mean, a good C potential. Late Adam Finnegan 
That's that's a pretty good pick for how late it was. See, potential 72. That's a very good pick, actually. That would have been better than some team's first rounder. The Angels. I mean, these guys are okay for C potentials in terms of OVR, but woof. The Athletics. They reach to take Boyce Dolan. He's fine. They got Steve Hedger. He's fine. Bernardo Carrillo is a solid project. Garcia is good for a C potential. Weird draft for them. Uh, Seattle. Sean Kidd, who's a big time project. That's about it. This guy was projected 100 and something, but Texas got it right. Manny Baez. 18, 52 overall, nearly an A. Not bad. They also got Daryl Henry at catcher. Also not that bad. They're both big time projects. They also got Fred Morehouse. It's a C potential, but a damn good one with that starting OVR. Atlanta. They got Matt Morin, who's a big time project. That's about it. Only a sports game or the AI can do something like that. It's amazing. It's amazing. Every single sports game out there, at least console based, say what you want about out of the park football manager, they need to steal the system. You can tell, you know, you can tone it down a little bit because baseball is a little bit different than some of these other sports. You can tone it down, but they need to steal the system. They need to. Miami. There was no way he was ever going to fall to us at seven. He went third overall. But this was a year to end up with a top three pick, and we just didn't do it. We ended up being a bit too good. And we missed out on the lottery by like one, one or two wins, basically. What a pick, Eric Williams. They also got Elvis Medrano, who's awesome. Ross Graham's kind of mid. Decent starting overall for Bromberg. That's the second time we saw in Boston they ended up with Sinclair. Miami just has a habit of getting good first baseman. And then there's the Mets. Burger's okay for a C potential. Viegas is okay. Like they got some okay for C potential players. That's about it. Philadelphia Amoros, who was fine. Project, but he's fine. And a good C potential, Scott Hansen. Washington. Gerber's okay for a C potential. There is a Carter Carter as well. We didn't see him somehow. Project and Cortez. He's a little bit old. Steve Russo, big time project. Cubs ended up with Henry Acevedo. Solid. Trejo's very good for a C potential. Trithariad, take it easy. We'll catch you later. Uh, Boone White, not bad. We could have gone with Boone White. I'm happier with the closer. Uh, Adam Horan's good for a C potential. Gilland's, Gilliand is okay for a C potential. Uh, Milwaukee. Oof. Oh, Milwaukee. Ochoa's a big time project. Not a great draft for them. All in all, we had a pretty good draft. I'm still pretty happy with Ken Watts. Maybe we could have gone for somebody else who was available at the time, but for the most part, again, I still feel like we did pretty good. I do. Now, the big question is, will we win 25 games? We have to win 11 games the rest of the way. Uh, the voting for that, by the way, 75% of the points put on were for the under, so obviously it's way more likely, but let's see. Couple months left in the season. And we are going to finish that month with two wins. <laughs> the under is just about safe. 15 wins. Ooh, look at Gil. It's a 70 already. I think I think we call Gil up, right? Honestly, Gil? Bobby Tom? Some of these guys are looking okay. Some of these guys are looking okay already. Flores, I think we can still... Honestly, Flores can get the call up to double at this stage of the season. 
we look at those relievers, these guys can still stay, stay down in single. They are getting better, thankfully. Let's call up Coronado. We're going to add him to the 40, man. We're going to put him on the Major League roster to give him a chance, while Bobby Tom Brady and uh, Carlos Delgado Jr. will go to AAA, and we'll put DaCosta in double. So we do still need to call up, like, three people, apparently. I'm trying to see where the injuries are from. Why would we need... All right, we lost a shortstop. So shout out to Ray Ramirez for getting the call up. And we lost an outfielder. So David Rodriguez, welcome to the 40, man. We'll bump you up. And we need one more dude. One more dude. Let's see. Who's, what do we got? Cy Cohen. Congratulations to Cy Cullen from single A to the majors. There you go. That should do it for our September call-ups. Uh, double A, they do not have enough pitchers on their staff. That's not great. Uh, let's just go ahead and bump up the dudes in single A. Beautiful. All right. And we again had somebody get hurt. You hate to see it. Yeah, I hate to see it. Uh, Kurt Johnston. Welcome to the majors, buddy. Why not? Ah, uh, crash. Yes, that's very much a thing. Chase packs are not uh, are not guaranteed diamonds. <laughs> and double A will send Loftus down. Jonathan Bermuda's triangle got <laughs> And we beat Washington again. Oh my god. S stop. Double A. Send down this dude. Whoops, it was triple A. Oh, Philip Kim, congratulations. Down you go. Leave me alone. Sim the rest of the season. Couple of wins. Our triple A ball club won 26 games. Double A still won 43. Good for them. And our Major League roster can only finish with 24 wins. You hate to see it, so congratulations to the under. As that run is over, let's call up Tommy Lawrence. Tommy Lawrence to the Majors. 20 wins and 142 losses for the Pirates. To round out season two. Fucking oof. Uh, that said, that said, uh, Coronado up to a 70. Went 2-1 and one in the majors with a 3-9-4 ERA. That wasn't too bad then. He did okay. He did okay when he played. Uh, and then AAA stats like Bobby Tom and Delgado, we can't really look at too many of our other guys. But, I mean, Bobby Tom's up to a 69 Delgado at a 67. Hidalgo and Miranda both got better, but it's a long road for them to be anywhere near decent. And then uh, Fernando Flores is a shortstop. He's up to a 60. He had a pretty good developmental year. He had a pretty good developmental year, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, in terms of our team ranks, I will look. I will look at that. So our batting average... Uh, was just a little bit worse. A little bit worse than Oakland's. Number of at-bats, 104 fewer. Uh, <laughs> we scored 337 runs. Had just 1,084 hits. We didn't have the fewest amount of doubles, though. Eat your heart out. How does Colorado have the fewest amount of doubles? That's insanity. We did have the fewest amount of triples. We hit 44 home runs. <laughs> 44. As a team, 44 home runs. 
with 334 RBI. Uh, we did okay for stolen bases. 15th. Got caught stealing the fewest amount of times. Love to see it. Uh, we had the fewest amount of walks. We had the most strikeouts. A 277 team slugging percentage. And a 249 on base. Fucking yikes. <laughs> Uh, let's look, uh, you know, we'll save the award winners for after the playoffs. Let's find out who is going to win. Who is going to win? Actually, and people are wondering about Kutch, who's in free fall. 15 home runs, 43 RBIs, had a 630 OPS. I hope he retires. Let's find out who's going to win the Season 2 World Series, and we'll take a look at the awards and such. The Texas the Texas Rangers win it in seven games over the Padres. The Texas Rangers. First baseman Orlando Ortega is a world champion. The biggest favor we could have ever done for Orlando Ortega was to not draft him. He hit 14 home runs and had an 821 OPS. Maybe we should have gone for him, but yeah, Orlando Ortega and the Texas Rangers get the job done. Good Clayton Kershaw on the Texas Rangers. How do you like that? How do you like that? But yeah, that's that's a good eye. Minnesota did not make the playoffs. Atlanta failed to make the World Series after going all in. Pretty crazy turn of events. Marcus Simeon won World Series MVP. No kidding. I mean, a 481 average is insane. NL MVP this season was Manny Machado. And the AL MVP was Mike Stanton. Stanton and Judge on the same team, huh? Jesus. Uh, Cy Young in the American League went to Carlos Rodon. I vehemently disagree with that. He got it off of strikeouts. I would have given it to DeGrom. Otani was still up there, but yeah, poor Minnesota. NL Cy Young, oh my god. I'd still probably go with Sandy Alcantara, although man, Walker Bueller, 19-1 and one record. That's insanity. The Yankees had more, two Yankees had more home runs than the Pirates, yes. Uh, AL batting title went to Jordan Alvarez. The NL title goes to Luis Arias. Reliever of the year, Rysel Iglesias in Atlanta. I mm, It's tough to disagree with, it with that ERA. It's tough. AL goes to Ryan Presley. Yeah, they went to him off of ERA as well. Mm. Rookie of the year in the American League, Jason Dominguez. For Steve Crespo and Todd Silva. NL it went to Tyler Soderstrom. Over Jose Zapata and Woodrow Pena. So there we go. That is season two. In the books. Things are looking okay for us so far in terms of drafting. Bunch of players just retired due to a lack of ability. <laughs> Or injuries, none of whom we outright care about, as Justin Verlander and Miguel Cabrera both make the Hall of Fame, and indeed, indeed McCutcheon did not retire. So, Koch, uh, congratulations. I'm, I'm going to sign you to a fair deal. I'll offer you a platoon. Actually, I'll offer you a star player position. It's up to you if you want to come back. We need a farm director. And when in doubt, in season two, go for Dave Roberts. We'll see if he accepts. And he does not. He goes to the Mets instead. Bastard. Uh, this dude has a minus in drag bunting. Old Gino. 
I'm gonna offer you two and a half million a year, Gina. See if you join up. Nope, he goes to the Giants. We still haven't heard from Kutch. We are having difficulty locking down a farm director here. A lot of difficulty. Fuck, Bryant Bowser. I mean, I don't like the bunting boost, but Jesus, what choice do I have? A one and a half million for you, buddy. I, I just need somebody here. Thank you very much, Bryant. <sighs> Kutch might still be going to free agency. The top free agents this year... Juan Soto, Corbin Burns, Shane Bieber, a lot of starting pitching. Pete Alonzo's out there. There's going to be some pretty big moves. In terms of contracts, since we have to pay attention now, uh, Coronado. Coronado will obviously be signed. to A three-year deal. Bobby Tom Brady. Got to bring him back. Carlos Delgado Jr. And we have Johnny DaCosta. Relievers, it's Alberto Miranda and Italy Hidalgo. And then that leaves shortstop, Fernando Flores. And outside of that, we don't give a damn about anybody else. <laughs> Maybe Miguel De Los Santos will get a job somewhere after the season he just had, though. One can only hope. One can only hope. So we got to go up to about December 2nd. Shane Bieber on his way to the world champion Texas Rangers. Danny Jansen goes to the Cubs. All right, let's see. Tender contracts. We are good. We are good. And by the way, now I can add to my little short list here. Austin Fielder as a closer. We got Ken Watts. At catcher, we now have McCauley. Reliever, we have Martins and Elliott. We got another shortstop in Calderon. And then in the right, it is Gaucho. Beautiful. We don't have anybody else to worry about. Nobody, nobody. We'll see how many of these guys come back if they're still the lowest rated dudes. But we are good to go. Juan Soto. Wow, Cincinnati spending money. Unrealistic. Unrealistic. Cincinnati spends money and brings in Juan Soto. Walker Bueller, after a phenomenal 19-1 record, he's going to the White Sox until age 39. Willie Adamas on his way to the Giants. What else do we have here? Still some big names out there. Zach Wheeler goes to Atlanta. Pete Alonzo to the Cardinals. Mike Soroka to the Kansas City Royals. Go to Rule 5, which again won't do anything for us. Brandon Woodruff off to the Angels. Corbin Burns to the Dodgers. And the Rule 5... Trevor Story gets traded one for one for Robbie Ray. I would be so upset. Well, surprise, surprise, top pick. And again, we won't be picking anybody. Can you believe we're, oh my God. Can you believe we're going to have the top, the top odds at winning the draft lottery and getting the number one pick? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. A rowdy Tully is on his way to Colorado. He's going to hit monster dongs. Tyler O'Neill goes to Washington. Pablo Lopez to Philadelphia. Max Freed to the Giants. Tyler Glasnow to the Cubs. We are about done with this offseason. Off the spring training. All right, and here we are. So... Looking at the roster, again, these are the pitchers that we currently have that we have drafted so far, with the exception of Jordan Sheffield, uh, who I accidentally signed to a five-year deal, and Ronald Bayanos. But it is DaCosta, Delgado Jr., Bobby Tom Brady, and Gilberto Coronado 
Coronado, obviously the gem of it. Was Bobby Tom always an A? I think Bobby Tom went up to an A, didn't he? Unless I'm mistaken. In terms of relievers, we also signed a couple dudes to multi-years, but uh, Eloy Hidalgo, he was like an 88. Okay, well, there you go. Chris Martins, Alberto Miranda. No, he was always an A. Well, then people, see, there's, there's, there's conflicting. We also got James Elliott, who's way the hell down there. Uh, and then closers, Austin Fielder and Ken Watts. Austin Fielder is going to start off in the majors, man. He's ready. He's ready at a 71. Ken Watts will start in AAA, but Austin Fielder is going to start off in the majors, the poor bastard. Uh, and then McCauley at catcher. Again, he's a project, but hopefully he'll work out pretty well. Shortstop, Flores will start off probably in double, maybe in triple. Calderon will stay in single A. Super low overall. And then McCutcheon's in right, and so is Thomas Gaucho. So, mm. we got some pieces. We got some pieces through two drafts. Obviously, we got a ways to go, but we're looking okay.